A month in, work is beginning on the bionic man's inner organs. Okay. Professor Cephalian has assembled some of the most innovative organ replacements from around the world. He's trying to combine them into a functioning circulatory system. So this is the heart, artificial heart. The human circulatory system carries blood around the body. The heart pumps blood to the lungs, where oxygen from the air that we breathe is transported into the bloodstream. So I have collected my oxygen, and now it's oxygen getting in. To mimic the lungs, this prosthetic is a filter packed with tiny hollow fibers to oxygenate the blood. Blood goes in, oxygen goes in, and oxygenate the blood. The kidneys remove toxins from our blood and help to regulate its contents. This is a prototype of the world's first implantable artificial kidney. It contains super efficient silicone membranes for filtering out toxins and a chamber of living kidney cells to help maintain appropriate levels of water and other essential components in the blood. The pancreas helps regulate blood sugar, the energy source that keeps our body running. This implantable pancreas reacts to rising blood sugar levels, releasing insulin to keep them in check. So you can see even now, you know, the insulin coming out. So yes, it does work. The spleen is a filter that removes impurities from our blood. This synthetic one works with magnetic particles that latch onto germs and are then pulled from the blood with magnets. Interesting device, you know. So this is all clean blood. Many of these are still prototypes. The hope is that one day they'll solve the worldwide shortage of donor organs. So this looks nice. I hope there's enough space in that. I hope so. Six weeks into the build, Professor Cephalian's ready to fit the circulatory system to the bionic man. OK. So that goes here. The heart. The lung. OK. The kidney. The pancreas. And the spleen. The professors also made an implantable trachea, or windpipe. But there aren't yet any synthetic replacements for the liver, stomach, or intestines. These organs are too complex to recreate with current technology. OK. So we got all the organ in now, and so that's it. We're ready to put the blood in and circulate it. To get the blood pumping, it just needs to be switched on. Bionic man is now part bionic, part organic. Seeing the body with the heart beating and blood going round it is, is, is quite unnerving. There's a pulse, it's alive, it's moving. And we can see that this really is coming together as, as something that's taking life. 